Uh, morning, guys. I wanna. I, I was quite um confused about people getting disappointed when it comes to losing a trade, especially when it gets to to NFP. And according to my own experience, NFP only happens once in a month. But such movement, when it comes to Nasdaq, it happens each and every single day. That is Monday up to Friday. But because of social media and 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 the kind of influencers that you guys follow, you think NFP is the only thing that exists, right? And another thing that gets me also confused is that you get shocked when you lose a trade. You don't control the market. This is not your 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 own playground. I don't wanna say your mother's place, but because I wanna come out as a a, a a respectful person. But the thing is, guys, you need to once you tell once you get angry or you exit a group or you you quit some mentorship because of a loss, because of you lost um an opportunity maybe to trade nfp or maybe you lost with nfp that simply tells me that you are still a beginner you don't know what you're doing and i'm, I'm just gonna simply explain how you can recover from your losses losses are part of the game and what to expect each and every single day that has the same movement probably even more than uh, nfp guys so for me nfp is just overrated né? so allow me to drag one tool here because currently i'm using my phone uh, what i'm gonna explain it's a bit advanced né? Uh, this is what i offer to to my advanced students né? but i'm just gonna give you a quick glimpse on what to understand because i can see if a person gets angry that they lost when it comes to nfp that person is still a beginner because as a trader you come to the market with the mindset that i might lose i might win but what can i do to increase the probability of winning but let's say i failed to win what is my backup plan you need to be smart about it. So I'm tr I'm going to try to explain this um, using maybe let's say two methods. Uh, one is this. So let's say we have the market that is like this, right? Impulse, correction, impulse, correction. The market is somewhere around this point here. What are we expecting the market to do? We are expecting the market to drop towards the lowest point right we are expecting the market to drop to us the lowest point but we that's not that's not the only reference that we are looking at that the market impulses towards the downside every time when we touch that high price same as here but we are also looking at the candle patterns that are being formed at that highest price right so let's say we have some kind of inverted hammer at this price at this price and also at this price but the market currently is somewhere around this price right here so what are we gonna do having our nfp or not having our nfp look at the market today is still gonna spike um if it didn't spike at half past three it's gonna spike at half past four trust me so you don't have to stress yourself about any other things so when so let's say i'm having a, a thousand rand a balance right and also my equity is a thousand rand so here i'm gonna try to risk at least 100 rand per trade just in case so that if i lose seven trades i will be losing 700 rand right this is for a person that doesn't know how to how to trade ne? this is you lost 70 percent of your account but every time when you make profit you make three times from what you you manage to risk so if you are risking 100 rand 
trying to make three times, which is 300 rand. That's a good, good, good probability uh, trading because of even though with 1000 rand, I lost uh, 700 rand, I'm left with 300 rand. So let's say just in case I'm winning three trades, right? I'm going to win my three trades. It's going to be 100 rand times three, which is my first trade, is going to give me 300 profit. But since I'm winning three over 10 trades, uh, that means I'm going to have a profit of 900 rand, right? So my 900 minus my actual 700, the profit will be 200 rand, right? This is for a person that doesn't know how to trade. This person knows, my students, they know that even if we lose, it doesn't really matter. Because of, even if I lose seven times and I only win three times, I'm still going to make money out of the market. Right? It's about risk management. It's about risk management. The secret is not behind your technical analysis or behind your fundamental analysis because beginners they always get this confused they will separate technicals with fundamentals yet only to find out that technicals they give you an entry to trade your fundamentals they give you a setup and then once they've given you a setup let me let me explain this here do you see this impulsive move here it is because of long-term fundamentals right the candle pattern that we had here the reason why we have this setup here is because of technicals so technicals they give you um i can say they give you a setup while fundamentals they give you a movement of that setup right so i i tried to explain that using money but i'm gonna explain that now uh, using my forex chart so let's say i'm having my sell somewhere here my stop loss is somewhere around here and my take profit is somewhere around here this is i'm risking 100 rand if the market goes against me touches stop loss i'm gonna lose 100 rand but if it goes to my direction i'm gonna make more than three times or let's just say for for this case i'm just gonna say three times right so let's say nfp comes in right the market goes against us right we have this high price here we have this high price here the market goes against us what does what does that actually tells us it tells us that the market has changed its actual direction right so what are we expecting i'm just gonna stay calm wait for the market to get to this price once it gets to this price, I know that my market is going to change now, right? My market is going to change now because I just had an impulsive move. I should be expecting a correction coming to retest the same area that we actually broke because that's what the market does. Look at this low price here. Once we break it, we come back to retest with our correction. Look at this price there. And then the market is gonna impulse towards the downside so that's what i'm gonna expect right once i get here i get inverted hammer i'm gonna take a selling opportunity with a stop loss right there and my take profit right here so i lost 100 rand here but once this movement, the, there is no way that you're going to find a trade that moves like this. Just straight up. There is no way. A market impulses and then it corrects. Right? I lost that trade, which is totally fine by me. Right? So, I'm going to take this sell. Right? And once I take this sell, the market is going to come to my direction I lost 100 rand, but I made extra 300. That means that 300 minus 100 rand, my profit is 200 rand.
right so i lost one trade i won one trade but at the end of the day i still made profit out of the market so if you are a beginner you cannot understand that if you have a, 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 a incorrect information about the forex market you're not gonna get that correctly or if you don't have proper mentorship so let me go back to giving you guys signals i don't want to dwell on this too much but i just wanted to explain what we were really expecting on the uh, uh market so guys as we can see that this is what happened and we just gonna use this as our reference right we have our impulse correction impulse correction impulse another we were expecting a correction so that we can impulse towards the downside but instead the market broke out touched our stop loss and it actually came to our high price here yeah. so there there it is guys there it is it's that simple right there it is i'm having an inverted tema my entry has been confirmed so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this baby right here and i'm gonna have a stop loss above that price there right so i wanna quickly do this guys so this is what i want to do guys i wanna on h4 okay on h4 i'm just gonna have my direction of the market right i'm expecting my market to come here i have everything that i need on h4 i'm at a, a, a sensitive area and i just had candle information which is our shooting star or our inverted tema right so what i'm gonna do is to move to h1 start looking for an entry right I'm gonna look for an entry do i have my entry as yet um i think we did i think we did because of that was a double top right there my entry could have been there my entry could have been there but unfortunately i think i was sleeping around this time let me check yeah i think i was sleeping around this time so what i'm gonna do is to move to a much smaller time frame just to find a good entry for this level right here so there is a possibility that um the market hasn't given me a good entry so what i'm gonna do is this i'm just gonna cater for this levels here because i can see that on 15 minutes time frame my market is actually ranging so what i'm gonna do is to wait for the market to get to this point once i get to this point i have my inverted tema somewhere around this place here as you can see when we have inverted tema the market drops when we have inverted tema the market drops when we have our hammer right here the market goes high when we have our hammer right here the market goes high so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wait for my selling opportunity right i'm gonna wait for my selling opportunity which is gonna come around this area right here then this is what i'm gonna do I'm gonna put my sell stop and say this is my take profit and let me just bring this baby here that is one is two three right that is gonna be my 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 entry so for 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 let me just give you an example guys let me just give you an example guys i'm gonna put a sell stop around this area right here uh, which is gonna be 15 3 3 4 comma 0 that is gonna be my sell stop right once the market gets here it's gonna take a sell uh, opportunity automatically whether I'm, I'm looking at the market or i am not looking at the market right and then my stop loss is gonna be at 15 3 3 
5,40, right? Right there, once I touch my stop loss, I know that, you know what? I only lost 100 rand. But if the market comes to my direction, it comes here, I know that I'm going to be making 300 rand. So just in case... Uh, the market doesn't get to that point but instead something like this happens the market breaks right it comes here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna expect the market to correct before i have another impulsive move towards the downside so this is what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna be one of those immature traders have my 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 sell stop my 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 sell limit right here so that the market can can do this because what can happen is that it can touch and then go back inside right so what i'm gonna do is this i'm gonna come here i'm gonna come to this area because i can see that is an area whereby we had a, 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 an activity, right? I'm going to say, I'm going to have a buy stop. I'm going to have a buy stop. I'm going to have a buy stop. Put it somewhere. Um, I need one is two, three. That is one is two, four. Yeah, I need one is two, three. So that's what I'm going to do. Né? I'm just going to look at the market. If it, if it happens, guys, the market comes down here, right? It breaks. It's going to be an impulsive and I'm going to trade a correction. Remember, corrections, I'm not going to hold. I'm just going to... Uh, 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 um, I'm not going to swing. I'm just going to scalp that entry, right? I'm just going to put a buy stop. Buy stop here and a stall and, and a sell stop right there. Then what I'm gonna do is this. Since I'm gonna have my take profit somewhere there, I'm also gonna have my sell stop right here. Another sell stop because I'm expecting the market to come towards this point here. So is that one is two, three? That is one is two, four. So with this one, I'm hoping that I'm going to be making four times. So let me just cater for this babies here. Yeah, let me just decrease this and put it slightly somewhere. I'm going to make six times. Yeah, six times with just one trade right i don't need to to hesitate about it so to summarize everything that i'm saying is this if the market goes up here it's gonna touch my sell stop take profit when we get here take profit when we get here as a matter of fact let me do this guys because i want to simplify things to show you that i'm gonna hold buying opportunities and I'm gonna hold selling opportunities and uh, I'm gonna scalp buying opportunities right if the market gets to this point right here up here I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put myself stop and then I'm expecting to to have the market come right here this is gonna be my take profit and then uh, once it hits my take profit, it's going to trigger my buy stop. Buy stop is going to hit my take profit. Take profit, sell stop is going to hit my other take profit. So I'm actually giving you three signals. These signals, they might actually last for the entire week. So this one here, I'm expecting to make more than eight times with this movement if the market gets to that highest point if the market gets to that highest point before half past three ne? so i'm hoping that it does that so that i can start looking for those setting opportunities but let's say it doesn't work out like that right let's say it doesn't work out like that say it doesn't work out like that because we don't control the market guys you must remember that we don't control the market guys 
and let's say we have this kind of movement this kind of movement it breaks out of that structure and then it comes back to retest what are we expecting guys we are expecting the market to continue going towards the upside that's why we're gonna take we're gonna go opposite direction and take those buying opportunities hoping to make three times no not three times guys let me just correct that hoping to make um eight times hoping to make eight times than what we initially lost i didn't want to show you this of eight times but there it is but anyway because this one is for advanced students guys uh, so the point is you cannot control the market and don't get hyped because of social media they everyone is speaking about fundamentals trust me Fundament fundamentals are things that are actually happening each and every single day when you see a long candle guys know that it's fundamentals you guys don't watch your fundamentals you want to make millions but you don't invest your time like a millionaire you are busy watching i will skim some none 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 i don't watch either or the, of those things i watch fundamentals your Bloomberg, your 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 CNBC. I I I try to look at what is really happening to the market. I try to look what is happening to the market because even now, even if I could take, it's a bit late now. Let's say if I take a buying opportunity, and somehow it goes against me, I'm totally fine with that because I know that my risk to reward ratio it's it's well calculated i hope i uh, i wish i was i got this entry early i wish i got this entry early guys um so that i can and can i can make you understand guys that it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter where, uh, what you do or or how you trade guys I can, you can analyze and you can get trades incorrectly, which is totally fine, guys. But you need to manage your risk. I can take any signal from any group. I can lose money and make more money out of that. Do you get what I'm saying? So that is my technical analysis for the day when it comes to Nasdaq. Uh, let's look at one currency pair. Uh, but firstly, I would like to look at, at my dollar index. You guys, I, I don't know. This thing of NFP, it already got me otherwise. So let me just look at this baby here. We are looking at dollar index. We can see that it's gaining some strength. We should see gold uh, losing some strength, which also confirms what I saw on 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 my on my uh nasdaq because when when nasdaq is gaining strength i understand that my 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 uh what you call my dollar index is actually losing strength so let me go to euro usd to show you guys that i'm looking for setting opportunities when it comes to this baby but do we have our entry as yet? Let me just do this. Do we have our entry as yet? Um, I can see the direction of H4, but I cannot see an entry. Unless if, let me see. Okay, it was respecting this. Okay, uh, I don't see my entry, guys, unless if, and let's see if the market goes back here. So this will be my impulsive correction. Sideways correction. Maybe uh, before we can have an impulsive move towards the, the downside. So what I'm going to do is to have a sell stop somewhere around here. And say my take profit is going to be there. One is two, three or even more guys it also depends 
Uh, so let me just put this baby there so that I can identify how far I should put my my stop loss guys right there it's gonna be one is to eight I'm looking to make one is it one is to eight now nah, it's one is to seven guys so that's a good probability uh, 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 trading guys so i'm expecting that the market is gonna drop when you get to this point ne? i'm i'm looking that the market is gonna drop when you get to this point but can i take a trade now maybe go opposite direction let me see even if i can lose it it's totally fine it's totally fine i don't mind i don't mind losing a trade guys Honestly, so let me see if ever it's gonna be a good probability trade. Uh, if I could put it somewhere, okay, it's totally fine. So let's say if I lose it, what's gonna happen? So let's say the market proceeds going towards the downside, then I'm gonna make my money when my market gets here looking for a buying opportunity mm, that is gonna be one is two five no it can't be one is two five because we are trading long term because we are having an an impulsive correction I will be expecting an impulsive towards that side so yeah it makes sense so i will be able to make my money back if i manage to lose it somewhere around this area so i won't hesitate to take a buying opportunity right here right i won't hesitate to take a buying opportunity right here guys i can you can you can give me a signal without even looking at at the chart i'm gonna take it as long my risk management is in is in order so make sure that you also have your risk management is in order the secret of forex is not behind uh, uh, your forex chart but it's behind your calculations 